Howdy partners and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Now, um, just before we kind of crack onwards I guess, um, although we are walking out here, um, I made a little mistake and didn't, accidentally didn't hit record <laughs> for the whole of last episode. So there's an epi episode missing, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, I am a massive donut, so sorry. Um, but not that much actually happened, though. To be funny, to be completely honest, um, we did a job for whoever the the D is guy, DeSanto, is it? I think that's Michael DeSanto, isn't it? From I sort of five D something or other. And um, oh my god, look at that sun! Oh, that's so good. Um, and. Yeah, we just we just helped him out. We had to go to a village, kill a load of rebels, and then burn it down. Honestly, it wasn't a very nice thing to do. So um, I'm not too disappointed that we didn't uh, get an episode. But other than that, I didn't do too much in it. So I don't feel like it's worth going back and reloading a save and and doing it again. So we'll just kind of crack onwards, basically. Now we are going to go and find Luisa. Luisa Fortuna. Now I th think we did get the episode. So last time for you guys I think was when we got her sister to the port. If it wasn't then we got her sister to the port and helped her out that way uh, using a wagon. It was a little annoying but incredibly didn't die doing it which I was shocked at. Um, so yeah off we go. It's nice just playing through Red Dead. I also feel like I'm kind of like uh, role playing it at the minute because it's so hot here in the UK that um, it kind of feels like the desert, you know. And everyone keeps going on about how um, oh, it's not that hot. It's much hotter where I am in America or Australia or something like that. But things people forget about the UK is um, we are more often cold than we are hot. So our houses are generally insulated. Um, we don't have air conditioning. So the things we rely on are fans and windows, basically, which eh, it's not that good, to be completely honest with you. So it gets pretty hot. I don't doubt that in some other places it's a lot hotter, but especially when you're used to much milder weather, it can be a bit of a shock to the system, which it has been. Okay. Says, oh, they burn a house down. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, oh Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't wait for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night. Yet he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where is he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. How could they? When well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me. A woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. <sighs> Mr. Marston, you're truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. Hmm. Let's go, Mr. Marston. Wait, oh, oh, we're getting a wagon. I was like, what are we going to do, run there? Um, I was thinking, like, uh, you know, you see those, like, uh, sketches where the guy, like, helps out the lady and then she mentions her boyfriend and the guy's just like, oh, and then just completely drops everything and walks off. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe uh, if Marsden was a single guy, he'd be like that. She'd be like, oh, what's up, Louisa? Oh, my boyfriend's in jail. Okay, see you later. Anyway, I've got some stuff to do. <laughs> Is she going to chat or should we just skip? 
as much as it looks nice. Yeah, let's skip it. She's not chatting. She doesn't feel chatty. That's fine. That's fine. We are almost there. He is still alive. I feel it. Okay. It seems to be night time now, so I don't quite know how long it took us to actually uh, kind of drive there, Louisa. But at least, you know, don't hold back on the whip, will ya? So we've got to bust someone out of jail, but looks of it. Oh. Oh, crikey. Oh, okay. But please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Well, if he's alive, I'll try to make sure he stays that way. I have some friends waiting for me near the river. Bring Abraham there. Good luck. One second, guys. You must go now. Go, Mr. Marston! <coughs> Come on, there's not a second to lose. You must go now! Sorry about that, guys. I could hear an echo, and uh, yeah, okay, all right, Lisa. Um, I had an echo, and uh, it's because my other headphones are still plugged in, so I could, I could hear the game from that as well. Sorry about that. Right, okay. Um, oh, uh, oh. Come on, John. You can make it. El Presidio. Okay. Come over the wall. Get to the sniping position, okay? Let's kind of make sure we keep low. Oh, what are they doing? Are they gonna like hang him or something? Was that a sniper rifle up there as well? Oh, hello. Does look like a sniper rifle, doesn't it? Some sort. It's very shiny. Finish the executioner. Where's the rolling block rifle? Oh, I can't seem to. I can't shoot. I uh, couldn't really work out what was going on there. It seemed to take a long time for the rifle to reload. So I might just use the Springfield. Because <laughs> we can actually do this with it. Okay. Okay. So what, who am I missing here? So I'm missing somebody who's still just shooting rares. Um, is there somebody with him? Is that it? I can't actually see. Oh, I th think there is, yeah. Okay, he's dead, so it's going to restart. Okay, maybe I do need to... Uh, Use the rolling. Oh, 
Martin, you idiot. Okay. You can't shoot me through here. Okay, so let's get our health back a little bit. Okay, shoot this guy. Okay, got this guy down. It's annoying, he doesn't go down quick enough. Like he docks up, you shoot, and then he's like, just stays there for a bit. Right there, master. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> nice fall. Ah, uh, imbecile. Okay, Reyes. Such a devoted thing, el amor de mi vida. Oh dear. Get one of those horses. I will ride with you, compadre. What horses? We need we do need some money. We actually um oh I think that was a thing maybe we did. Was it? No. I can't remember. If if we didn't do it, we got our two hundred dollars back for the lady we um saved. I think I did that on camera. So um but yeah, so we actually, we're actually okay for money. We're okay for cash. This looks like a nice horse. We'll take you. Pick up prayers with your horse. Reyes. Get on the horse, buddy. Let's hurry to Luisa. Go. Come on. Well, I get a feeling like we're gonna get chased. God's sake, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> we'll have to raise. <laughs> I did not abandon it. Okay, so I pressed the wrong button. Um, you have to bear with me a little bit because um, I play lots of different games and they have lots of different buttons and uh, I get confused. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. That was a little bit of a... Do we have to follow the blue guy, I guess? So we went the wrong way anyway. Okay. So we're not, we're not bungling this too much. I mean, we are, but... You know. Yeah. Oh, God. these guys. Reyes. Oh, that guy's gone. What is your name, my friend? John Marsh. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, the American Stay with the guide. But the, the guide got shot. I'm here because Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. <laughs> my guide got shot off his horse. Laura. It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa if you want her. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You've been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. 
Not like that. <laughs> Dissenter, that's the one. I am free again. I will write a poem about these days. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see I did this face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely manage that. <laughs> yeah. Marsden, put him in his place. We'll tell him, Marsden. Come on, buddy, where are we going? Yeah. My so called guide who managed to fall off his horse. I can't really complain, I've died like three times already. <laughs> luckily, the, um, luckily, the checkpoint system kind of saved me, which we didn't have to redo anything. Which is nice. There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Mr. Marston, the revolution will have thanks to you. Yes, you're as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men, and you return. You will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La Barra Cuba, Bella. Bayon. Bayon. Tu sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tu cara. What a sleaze pot, eh? Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. Oh boy. What Enrique Iglesias there? Okay, okay, we've got to help this Santo apparently. Um Horse, you're here. Oh, what a good horse. I don't like DeSanto and I don't like Abraham Reyes, but we gotta help him, I guess. And that's kind of the nice thing I guess a little bit about um uh, like Rockstar Games is, um, you know, not every NPC you help is a good person. Not every um, you know, person you you have to help is good. So you you know, as it kind of shouldn't be. That sometimes there's going to be people who are going to perhaps make you do things you don't really want to do. But in order to get to the end result, you got to do. Them, I guess. Um, Sometimes it would be nice, maybe, if there was a, a a different approach to something. But I don't think computer games have evolved to that level where um, you can, you know, have millions of different like outcomes just from the choices that you make. Um, although one game which does look like it's getting close to that is Detroit. If you've uh, saw any footage of that at E3. Um, does look very very interesting definitely a game I will be checking out I think on the channel um, when it eventually releases although we've just got a 2018 release date and I wouldn't would imagine sorry that it um, would be late 2018 so something to look forward to um, as on a whole E3 like I've done a video on it but probably I, I focus on the press conferences and who has said what and did what but I think 2018 is shaping up to be a really good year for gaming like everybody said like our oh, 2017 has been a, a real vintage year so far and I agree with that um, I think there's still some excellent games which are going to be coming out um, second half of this year but I think 2018 is looking really really strong um, like especially the first half of the year as well if because um, I think there was an interview with um, one of the Sony execs where they said that every game we said what's up oh god I'll get your damn wagon you right there buddy I'm sorry Excuse me, I'd like to get on the wagon. Thank you. Um, 
yeah, every game, every Sony game which said 2018 on it was going to be the first half of the year, which is interesting. There were some games that didn't say 2018. Okay, how much money are you giving me? Mr. Horse? $20 is pretty good. Wow, $559 I've got. I don't remember getting that much money. That's quite a lot of money. That's good. I had a little bit of a panic earlier as well. My Xbox wouldn't turn on. And I was like, oh no, don't tell me it's like died midway through this series. That would be shocking. Um, but actually the power brick cable just came out. So there you go. I was actually looking as well and... Um, like the Xbox um, One S, so not the X, the S, is um, it's like £220 in the UK, but it has like five games with it, and they're fairly decent games. You get like FIFA, Overwatch, um, Halo 5, Gears of War 4, like pretty decent games, and I was like, I actually wouldn't mind doing that, because I guess one advantage to the Xbox One S is it's a lot quieter, which is a bit better, and it'd probably be a little bit quicker on the save, you know, the loading screens and things like that. Um, so I might look at picking it up actually. Um, I don't really have any interest in the Xbox One X. Uh, like I kind of said before, I think it looks like an amazing piece of hardware, and I love the look of it and the shape of it, but it is just a PC and I've got a good PC so there wouldn't be any point to it but the, the other cool thing about the uh, Xbox One S would be that it would play um, let me guess I have to come back here between 7am and 10pm yeah okay well, we might as well go buy this house down here because I actually wanted, wanted to go to the gunsmith as well but I don't think we can what time is it? Um, it tell us on the map. Oh, sorry, there it is. 3 a.m. Okay, so it's not we've got that long to wait. Maybe we can. Because the thing is, that house is like $200, and I don't want to spend all my money on it. Um, ah, sorry, we'll do it. Be, it will be useful rather than having to. Oh, it's 150, okay. I'm sold. <laughs> That's a nice little house. Look at this, got a little writing desk with a candle, cooking, some nice Mexican rugs, a chest. How far are we along on some outfits now? Uh, Deadly Assassin, elegant suit. Have we put this on before? Well, very smart, Mr. Marsden. I mean, I don't really like it for purposes of Mexico, but... Um, Bandito outfit would be pretty cool. Duster coat is obviously very cool. I'll stick with this for now. Um, yeah, the, um, so you can now play, um, or oh, I think at least it's coming, I don't know if it's right this second, but you can play original Xbox games on the, uh, Xbox One, it's got backwards compatibility, which is very cool, there's a lot of very good games on the Xbox, original Xbox, I had one myself, um, and I liked it a lot, um, so yeah, I, I, you may find, ah, here we go, here's the gun shop. It's not open yet, is it? Hello, it's open now. Okay, bolt action rifle, semi-automatic. Bolt action rifle would probably be pretty good, but I quite like the idea of a semi-automatic pistol, info. Revolutionary new German pistol can fire a rapid session, though it kicks like a mule. I don't think I've ever had this. Let's try it out. Buy that map as well. We don't have enough money for that. Semi-auto shotgun. That's very powerful. Devastating up close. Okay. Semi-automatic. 
semi-automatic pistol. It's like a, um, a Luger, isn't it? Well, I'll give him credit, it fires fast and it reloads fast. I think someone's screaming because we fired. God, I fell down. There we go. Let's go speak to DeSanto. I don't know why I'm running. I could easily go and get a horse. Oh, that reloads really quick. Like, amazingly quick. Okay, let's go help DeSanto. Empty promises. Mr. Merson, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the man you seek. Come. Okay. Waiting for us. Just outside Escalera. Vamos. What's the Let's hurry, go. Santa? Where are we going? The rebels have taken control of an abandoned fort on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Tor Quemado. We can allow them to establish a stronghold. The coronel has given me urgent orders. Which are Corona, I should have guessed. <laughs> Ride with me. We have a long journey ahead of us. Okay. Which wagon? This one? Yeah, this one. Okay. Let's go, Marston. Captain Espinosa has set a cap at the base of the mesa. We will join forces with him there. See if he's going to be chatty first. Doesn't seem to be chatty anymore, does he? So we'll skip it. Wake up! We're drawing near to Torquemada. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get ambushed. Told you. We need to get to the camp. No, they're not. Let's see what mess that idiot Espinosa has made. Was he that deranged captain at Tesoro Azul? Is he leading this attack? He? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog we let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Okay. Okay, what did he say? To Santa. Follow me. We will leave the wagon here. Look at this guy. Atypical, like... <laughs> stereotypical Mexican general. I mean, I would like the sniper rifle. Um. Okay, oh. It's a nice rifle. Slow down, do we? Let's 
guy be a nice hat buddy. Come on, out you pop. Out you pop. There you go. There's still one over here. And he's gone. This gives me a yeah, refills dead eye meter, yeah. Who I can't shoot this guy. That's got him. I'm sure about that. Can't see him. You are not shooting. Oh my God. Goodness me, that wrecked him. It's gone, Marston. There we go. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Clear the valley. Fire's too slow. Keep on cover, Marston. Where's this last guy? See. Well, there he is. Gotcha. Got you all. Okay. And I and lay. Stay with the group. You take the snipe. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, hopefully we won't have to do the whole thing again. Nah, we don't. Mental note. Don't, uh... Don't stand in that position again. I think we'll have to use the sniper on the guy. Oh, okay. Okay. Bad positioning. Bad positioning on my part there. You take the sniper. We can hold up the rest. Okay, good stuff. There's one over there as well.
Oh, someone hit me. Could you just move over a little bit there, General? Sorry, Captain. There we go. Just a little something from Yeah, I mean they won't need it, will they? I'm sure they won't mind looting the soldiers. I've got to get some money for this somehow, haven't I? slide in the business. Where is he? Come on, put your head up. That'll get you out, won't it? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I just had to loot. Oh, crikey. More of them. Blimey. Is that where we're going for? That four? Look at the sunset in the background though, it's amazing, isn't it? Okay, let's get the old. How is he shooting? Okay, where's this last guy? There he is. Oh, I like this semi automatic pistol. It's nice. Oh, 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 
See ya. Poke, poke your head out again. Gotcha. Gotcha. Once you get used to the, the rifle, the fact that it takes a little while between each shot to... Okay, that's not a good place to stand, is it? Seems to be someone right near us. Nice there. Awesome, get out of it. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna chuck her. having a machine gun. Okay, can we see anybody? Guess not. Guess we've done it. Do a couple of bodies on the way. Give my six dollars a pop. Some information to Santa. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will <laughs> Jesus. They really are scumbags, the aren't they? You, There's a woman there as well. Captain. <laughs> Go get drunk, Go get a woman. Enjoy life. Ah, <laughs> uh, to Santa. Okay. Well. I don't really like helping them because they're scumbags, but I think uh, the whole thing about Mexico in Red Dead Redemption is it's there's no good or bad. They're all bad. Oh, look at us, nearly $400 again. Right, so where is the nearest house we own? Uh, we should probably buy one of these, shouldn't we? Get there. Let's go. Isn't it pretty famous as well, which is nice. Come on, horse. Uh, oh, sorry, horse. Um, horse. Okay, there we go. Is it down over here? <gasps> no. <laughs> nope, not that way. This way. I remember, um, I think I remember when I played this the first time being like annoyed because I'm like, there's miles to get back to anywhere. It's not that bad, really. Can be one of the annoying things about this game though the kind of like save game function in some ways it it's good because it does kind of like it, it gives the game a bit of a greater scope if you like but um in other ways it's very annoying it's, but it's, it's a thing in all rockstar games isn't it they've always done this the fact that you have to go somewhere to save no i can't I actually can't. I'm busy. Got stuff to do. How far away are we? Oh, we're not too far. Worst comes the worst. If we don't want to buy it here, we can get the stagecoach back to Tuperosa or 
wherever. Let's uh, go here first. It is, I mean, the one thing I will say about this type of method of save game is it does make you um, go, you know, see the scenery, doesn't it? You know? Which is something, I kind of respect Rockstar for that because it's kind of like saying, you know, we spent a lot of time on this. Please see the world rather than saving and fast traveling and all that type of stuff. Oh, here, yeah, yeah, okay. Casa Madruga. How much is this place? Oh, we can hit you over there. Howdy, howdy. What we really want is we want a bar or something. Oh, 250. Okay, we're getting a stagecoach. <laughs> Spending 250. Buddy. Go back to Chupa Rosa. Chupa Rosa. I'll pay $17 to go to Chupa Rosa, but I won't, um... <laughs> I won't pay $250 for a room. That's like London prices. skip it so I guess we're going to finish the episode up there guys thanks a lot for watching so far um, I really like playing through Red Dead it's really got me in the mood I mean I kind of wish Red Dead 2 was coming out this year as originally was intended but um, at the end of the day it gives me time to play the American Nightmare DLC as well and maybe take a little bit more time um, with uh, this as well, so we can do a few more of the side quests and things like that, because there's no rush. I even do a stream on it or something, who knows. But um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, as always. It's been my pleasure, and I'll go to bed, catch you guys next time.